Hello, Internet, and welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of Lifestyles of the Geeks and Gamers. Oh, she named it. Well, if you've never seen this vlog before now, my name is Torsi, a.k.a. Nia. I like to go by Torsi more often, though. I think it's fun. I am a gamer, geek, love of all things nerd-ish, and I've been doing a vlog and blog via IGN and YouTube for the past couple months on, on IGN for the past couple years. But let's get the show on the road because there was a lot of questions that you guys asked of me, and... And I, last time I recorded this, it ended up being like 20 minutes long, and I don't want to do that again because that took forever. So, you guys, at the end of season one of the previously untitled Lifestyles of the Geeks and Gamers, asked me a load of questions, and I told you that I would take the time to answer them all in my next vlog. So this is me thanking you for taking the time to ask those questions of me, I will now take the time to kindly answer such questions. So now, I bring you episode one of, are you sure that you really wanted to know all this junk? Now, Mario, aka Mario Solo, asked me a bunch of questions first. He said, you get a choice of one free game, Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3, and which one would I pick? I pick Battlefield 3. I've always been a large fan of the Battlefield series over the Modern Warfare series. I personally think that they are done better. I like the fact that I can control tanks, UAVs, helicopters, all kinds of stuff like that. And you never really have been able to do that in Modern Warfare. Plus, I think killstreaks suck, okay? I hate the fact that if a guy is good enough to get a kill streak, he eventually can just nuke the battlefield, and it even messes up his teammate's score. Like, come on, people. Bad idea. Um, so if I had to choose a free game, I would choose Battlefield 3, because it's awesome! Next, Belzegar asked me if there was one game that I just could not stand. And the truth is, there's one. It's called Vietnam Blood Trails. I have this baby, I got it for like 4 bucks from GameStop, that should have been my clue right there that it was going to be a terrible game. I purchased it, put it in, I was kind of excited, because like the first scene had you snapping a zombie's neck in half, and I was like, you're a zombie, zombie snapping of the neck. And then it just got craptacular from there. I mean, it blew chunks. So, took the game out, haven't touched it since, I can't sell it back for anything. Ah, it just is a big old wash and a sad sad little thing just chilling in my closet next beggar asked me what game am i looking forward to the most this year and next year there's two two games that no matter what i will get these games when they come out halo 4 because john 117 is sexy um Except for the fact that he's a ginger. There's nothing wrong with gingers. I just get this imagery of Carrot Top in my head. And Bioshock Infinite. Both games look amazing. Graphically, they're going to be gorgeous. Especially Halo 4. It's going to be running off the Reach engine. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, of course, 2K. They do great graphics no matter what. Mr. Ghost asked a bunch of questions. He asked me, can I give you all my food? No. I like food. I can give you some of my food, but I'm not giving you all my food. So... Deal. That was not the real question, though. The real questions were, what console generation has touched me the most? I would say the console of PlayStation, the PlayStation 2 console generation. Um, from there, you noticed a, you went from 2D games, side scrollers, stuff like that, kind of really polyg polygon, like you know, not the greatest graphics, to the PlayStation 2, which was this huge blow up of. Um, the graphics, uh, long storylines, epic storylines, stuff like that. You had the Final Fantasy series really blow up with Final Fantasy X, which introduced the, the advent of voiceovers during cutscenes, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I would say PlayStation 2. Then, what's my favorite SNES game? Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Come on, who doesn't love this game? Who didn't play this game as a kid? Who didn't bug their friends? How the hell do you beat that stupid ice level? And then at the end, right when you thought you beat it, there was a second level where you got to go and put together the Triforce to rescue the princess. Sure. 
Then, last, he said, and what game that's been dormant for a long time would I like to see return with a sequel? I would personally love it if they came out with a Legend of Dragoon sequel. I love that game. It's one of my favorite games of all time, besides the Bioshock and Halo series. I mean, they hinted forever that they were going to do one. They never did one. It was like, come on, don't tease me like this. Uh, I wouldn't even care. It doesn't even have to be a sequel. They can just go through and do an HD remaster. The storyline was epic. It was four discs. It was beautiful. You really haven't seen anything better since then. Um, in terms of, like, long John storylines, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, Bioshock is a great storyline, Halo, I'm talking, like, RPGs, that was, like, the pinnacle for me. Um, Link's Legion asked me, what genre of music do I listen to? I listen to a wide variety, thank you for asking, um, whoa, my window just opened back there, but anyway, sorry about the bright light, um, I listen to rock, alternative, hip-hop, dance, and electronica. I really like those genres. I also like to listen to a bit of classical when I am in the mood for it. What is my favorite film? That would be The Labyrinth with David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly and the Jim Henson Muppets. I liked the movie. It was cute. Um, as a kid, it was very entertaining. And then as an adult, you realize it's a really sadistic love story. So that would be my favorite movie. Um, followed by Grease, because, you know, go Grease, la, and you turn around the corner, la, Grease, la, la. Anyway, um, will the next Xbox be called the Xbox BG? BG standing for Bill Gates. Uh, I hope not, because I, I might not get it. Well, I, I would get it, but, you know, really, Bill Gates, you used to run the company, but then you left it, so, I disown you. I'm just kidding. Uh, Patrick Schrader asked a few questions. He said... What movies, well, I think, yep, what movies do I like? Like I said before, I like Labyrinth. I'm a big fan. Um, Inception just came out, and that was a gorgeous movie. I'm also a big, huge fan of all the comic book movies that are getting remade lately. I think that's awesome. Uh, Thor was really good. I'm really looking forward to Captain America, X-Men First Class, stuff like that. I also like a little bit of horror. I'm a huge zombie fanatic, so George A. Romero's uh, Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead, are great, and then zombie movies that go off of that, like Shaun of the Dead, which was a hilarious comedy involving zombies, are my cup of tea, so that would be my thing. What do I like to do besides gaming? Well, I live in Colorado, which is a very outdoorsy state, so I would say that I like to go snowboarding. I don't ski, I suck at it, I've never tried, I mean, but tooth, I would probably cross my things. Um, but I like to go snowboarding, I like swimming, uh, I, I'm a big fan of reading, I have a huge book collection, I, hmm, what else, I go out dancing all the time, I'm a big fan of going out and chicken, chicken bum, um, and then movie going, I watch a lot of movies because I know people who work at movie theaters, so, yeah, I would say those are my hobbies and my interests. I also like to do a little bit of drawing. I'm not that good at it, though. Nothing like what you find on the internet. Next, he said, do I date gamers or non-gamers? You know, I don't really try to date gamers, but that seems to be the majority of what I end up dating are gamers. Um, like... Almost every single one of my boyfriends has been a gamer, and it's kind of nice, but it kind of sucks at the same time, because they don't like it when y you want to play a game as a date, and maybe that's just me. Yeah, so, I've dated gamers, it's really cool, because then you get to nerd out with each other, talk about like the new releases, stuff like that. But I have dated a few non-gamers. It's kind of harder then because they don't really get it when you're really excited about something. So then you have to talk about it with your friends, which is cool. But I prefer dating gamers because you get a talk. You get a nerd out. They know what you're nerding out about and they're not like, Halo isn't on X, isn't on PlayStation 3. Big old wrinkle. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I've never had a non-gamer do that. But... Non-gamers are great and everything. It's just fun to, if you date somebody who's within your core interests. Timurama said, what is my favorite artist slash band? I am a huge Linkin Park fan. I love them. I used to like Lady Gaga stuff, but lately she kind of has gone into, like, the whole weird neat dress thing where it's not more like a 
part of her act is more like who she actually is. And her new CD, I did not find enjoyable at all. Sorry for all you Lady Gaga fans out there. So I would say my favorite band, Linkin Park. I went and saw them in concert. They were awesome. Sorry if you guys don't like Linkin Park. I do. I also like, um, like Cold, System of Down, Breaking Benjamin. Um, I do listen to some Britney Spears, which is random. But she, no, I like her stuff. It has a good beat. Ah, okay, let's see. Oh, Patrick, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Patrick asks one more question. He asked me what kind of games do I prefer. Patrick, I prefer RPGs and first-person shooters. I think they're the best because then I get a little bit of storyline. I get a lot of storyline. And then I can go and shoot people in the face when I can't pass a certain boss level on the RPG. So that's what I like. Sorry about that question. Forgetting that question, I mean. Timorama. Ask a very naughty question, so if you are not 18 year old, years old, older, or you don't have a sense of humor, please go beep during this next question. He said, which game's console controller, past or present, do I think functions the best as a sex toy? And then he told me that, yes, I read that correctly, and he did warn me that he was going to ask me a question like that. Damn you, Timurama! Um, I don't really... I would never really use my controller for that because my controllers are like gold and I want them to actually work for the games that I have them for. But I did some research for you. Yes, I researched which one would be the best. And according to the Xbox Marketplace, there's like five games that are just called massaging techniques or some crap like that. And, um,. So I'm assuming people use the Xbox 360 more. Because I didn't find anything in the PlayStation 3 store like that. I didn't find anything in the Wii store like that. And the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 controllers are exactly the same as the PlayStation 3. So I'm assuming people use the 360 controller. And anyway, after that. Wow. Um, he also asks, which gamer am I looking forward to the most in the second half of 2011? The best game I would be looking forward to would be um, the Halo remake or Battlefield 3. Uh, the Halo remake was not known until then. It was just rumored. But then they finally released it at E3, and I was like, yes, I'm so going to get this. But I'm going to get a PlayStation Vita probably alongside that Halo remake. So I only get one game. So, I would say the Halo remake, because then I'm going to restart the series, and it's going to be glorious, and it's going to be off the Reach engine, so it'll be kind of nice to see, like, the graphical differences that they made there. Then you ask me, which game am I looking forward to in 2012? Uh, I kind of answered this question earlier, but I'll just reiterate, uh, Bioshock Infinite and Halo 4. I mean, I know Mass Effect 3 is coming out, and that's going to be great, but I haven't even finished Mass Effect 2 yet, so I don't see the point in being super stoked about a game when I haven't even finished the second one in the series. So that's just the way I think about it. My eyes got really big there. <laughs> um, then, the reason why my eyes got really big is because this question, if I could kill one person and get away with it, who would it be? Hmm. Okay, this is going to sound kind of crazy. But Bungie, whoever at Bungie created fuel rod guns, if I could get away with killing your ass, and whoever decided that every single grunt, brute, and freaking little Ewok looking, well, Ewok looking grunt, I was right, Ewok looking grunt, has a fuel rod gun, and has amazing aim, even though they haven't seen me and I'm hidden. I would totally kill you, because I hate you. Little Ewok grunt thingies that are normally supposed to be terrified of you should not be able to kill you that easily. I mean, I know it's legendary mode, but seriously, give the girl a break. I need it. I mean, I'm playing legendary mode on my first playthrough. It makes me sad. Otherwise, I wouldn't be ranting about it and wanting to kill you right now. Cheese. Anyway... <laughs> Also, that's psychoticness. Holy Hammer Strike asks two questions. He asked, Do I find you at all attractive? Well, I tried to find a picture of you, Holy Hammer Strike, and I was unable to do so. I even typed your name into Google, and I got some really interesting things when I did that. And I even looked at your old blog. So either I suck at finding pictures, or there is no picture of you on the internet. 
email me a picture, and I will answer your question truthfully and honestly. But until that time and day, I have no clue. Sorry, bud. Um, next, you ask how often I save. I save every 10 to 20 minutes because I'm a freak, and normally I end up accidentally turning off my autosave feature all the freaking time. And that really sucks because what happens is I play for like three hours without dying, I get to a boss, I die, and I lose three hours of data. So I've become a firm believer of saving every 10 to 20 minutes in an attempt to save my sanity. Well, that's all for you guys' questions. Thank you for taking the time to ask them of me. On the next episode of Lifestyles of the Geeks and Gamers, I'll have to come up with some awesome theme song music for that. Or somebody else can. Okay, or not. Um, I will be discussing Halo 4. Who do we think the enemies are going to be? Are there going to be other Spartans? <gasps> Will there be more Forerunner technology? And will we find out about the precursors that they hint at in the Halo books? So tune in for the next episode for that. If you like this episode, if you like where it's going, please hit the like, subscribe, or comment button below. I will accept any and all compliments as long as it's, you know, nice and, and at least, criti kind of like, you know, good constructive criticism in nature. Well, that's all for this episode. I think I'm running around 16 minutes. Sorry about that. I blame the questions. Thanks for tuning in to Lifestyles of the Geeks and Gamers. This is Nia, and I'm out.